Hey, this is Kip, and in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the changes made in the Garmin G1000 NXi version 030 by the working title team. Most of the things in this update are quality of life improvements and over 20 bug fixes. So if you want to look at each and every one, you can go to the release notes linked in the description below. Make sure to download the update by going to My Profile and then Content Manager within the sim, finding the G1000, and then choosing it and clicking Download at the bottom. The first improvement is that it'll now remember your map and brightness settings. So for example, if I change from heading up to north up in this Cessna 172, the next time I use the 172, it'll be in north up mode as soon as I load in. But these settings are actually per plane. So if I jump in the Grand Caravan, you can see it's still in heading up mode, not north up. So you can think of it as if each plane has its own physical G1000 with its own unique settings. Next, the automatic brightness setting got updated to be based on time of day. So during the daytime, it'll automatically be brighter and at nighttime, it'll automatically be dimmer. You can always override this by clicking on the menu button on the PFD and changing from auto to manual. Another nice improvement is that when you click on the FPL button to open the flight plan panel or window, it no longer just goes right on top of the map. The map will actually shift over to the left like this, so you can still see everything around your current location. Also, when you're using the waypoint entry menu, you can now use the range knob on the right to zoom in that waypoint preview map in or out. This can be useful to zoom out to see the context of where you are in relation to the waypoint, or if you're close enough to the waypoint and zoom all the way in, you can even get a miniature airport diagram like this. Back over on the PFD, the altitude text will now flash when you're reaching your selected altitude. So you can see the 7,000 right there flashing to let me know we're reaching that altitude. That's usually a good reminder to double check your throttle settings. So if you just did a climb, you'll likely want to pull back to a better cruise setting for your throttle. There is no audible warning for this. It's just text right now. So we'll have to see if that gets added in a future update. Another improvement is that custom waypoints that you set in the world map will now transfer over to the NXI's flight plan. So here I'm adding one to Mount Rushmore and a random area up here to the north. And you can see this matches the flight plan in the NXI. So this makes it easy to go sightseeing, see points of interest, and fly other custom flight plans. Last but not least are improvements to the hold entries. So before this update, only direct entries were supported, but now you can expect that both parallel and teardrop entries will be done correctly on the NXI. And that's all I got for you for this update. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.